The Zumbro River begins its flow just outside of Hayfield, Minnesota, moving east through Olmsted County where it turns north toward the city of Rochester. The area was a gateway to the north for indigenous culture and trade routes, moving throughout the Mississippi Valley since 900 AD. Native Dakota lived along the Zumbro River, or as they named it, Wapka Wazi Oju, Pines Planted River, for its abundant fishing and diverse wildlife until the 1852 Treaty of Traverse de Sioux forced their removal. Although the river is what drew people to the area, it's also what caused significant issues for what would become the city of Rochester. For years, the city was plagued with floods, including the flood of 1978, which killed five people and left Rochester devastated. After many years of persistent work, a flood control project was developed and constructed in 1993. Rochester was now safe from the threat of flooding, and the Zumbro River had a new walkable riverfront, with miles of bike paths and public accessibility. Since then, the riverfront has continued to be an area of importance for our city. In 2020, the city of Rochester led the Downtown Waterfront Southeast Small Area Plan to work with the community to create a vision for the Downtown Waterfront area. The plan would also redevelop the existing flood control system into an accessible riverfront space for all, as well as increased connections to destinations in the downtown and surrounding neighborhoods through the Link Rapid Transit development. During the study, a new bridge concept was identified. This bridge would go over the Zumbro River and connect East and West 6th Street. From 2024 to 2025, the city will develop a detailed riverfront bridge and road design in preparation for construction in 2026. Your feedback will be essential to develop a 6th Street design that benefits, reflects, and supports the community. Let's work together to come up with ideas that will beautify and enhance the accessibility of our growing city and support the legacy of the Zumbro River's long living history. Visit rochestermn.gov to see the project website and sign up for email updates to get involved.